Welcome to Yorkshire Dales. Another challenge, another adventure. The Yorkshire Three Peak Challenge. The tents are there and we've got a nice sausage casserole. Indeed we have. On the go. Look at that. Down the that. And this is a, a Joe Wicks uh, leaning 15 mil. So, who says you can't be healthy while on holiday? Well, it's five o'clock in the morning. All the other campers are still asleep. Me and Mark are up getting ready for the 24 mile Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. Cheers, Gov. Cheers, Gov. Who says you can't have a Joe Wicks breakfast at five past five in the morning? in the dark on the Yorkshire Dales campsite. It is ten past five, look. Ten past five. Happy days, look. Living the dream, boss. Welcome along. Happy trekking. Happy days. Inside us, get some carbs. Got a long day ahead of us, indeed. Phil. Well, we leave our fellow campers behind as we make our way to the start of the Yorkshire Five Peak Challenge. Early bird catches the worm. Only morning, elevate your life. So we've made it to the start point of the Yorkshire Dales Three Peak Challenge. 60 of us taking part today. As you can see, we're all meeting here at six in the morning. Ready for 24 miles and three mountains in under 12 hours for our certificate. So, here we go, it begins. Mark's over there getting ready, getting his briefing. I don't need a briefing, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's uh, 20 past six in the morning, just started the North Yorkshire, uh, Yorkshire <laughs> Dales rather, free peak challenge. And we're on the first few footsteps, um, our tour guide, I'm gonna call him Staff, He's leading the group down oh, there. We? So we've trailed behind, <coughs> just so I can get a bit of privacy to record. We're the last group, so there's no slowing down to fall back on the group behind us. We've split into groups of about 10, 15. <coughs> there's groups in front of us, so if we walk fast enough, we can join another group, but I think it's good just to stick with who you're starting with and finish with who you start with, make a few friendships and uh, a bit of bonding. <laughs> a good experience so far though, to do it with a group. So, better catch up guys, I don't want to think we're civvies. It's lovely and fresh at this time in the morning, up in the Yorkshire Dales. Blue sky, don't know if you can see the blue sky. Nice day. So, about an hour into the walk and we're heading up to the first summit of Ingleborough, which is the first mountain out of the three of them. So it's heading up now this rocky bit here with the group. 
a lovely morning. It's quarter past seven now. As you can see, you can just see the miles, blue sky, nice fresh air, happy days. So we're just holding back a little bit from the group while we can do a bit of a calling. <laughs> don't want to get too many people on camera if they don't want to be. So we've done the first first mountain out of the three of them. We did it in about an hour, one hour, six minutes. So um, we're doing doing good. We've, uh, we're, I'm very comfortable to be honest. I feel very comfortable. My feet feet feel well. I actually left my uh, blister plasters at home and I forgot to get some more from the shop. So I'm doing this without blister plasters today and my feet do, they do get blisters every time I go hiking. Um, but at the moment they feel good. I put some Vaseline on them. So it's easing the friction off the, off the shoes. At the moment, we're all good. I'm feeling comfortable, feeling fresh. It's a lovely, lovely morning, it really is. Beautiful. We've got um, these armbands here that we have to wear. It's a bit like SAS Who Dares Wins. If you can't keep up the pace, you have to hand your armband in and quit. <laughs> and it's also a way to ID the dead bodies as well. <laughs> How are you feeling, Gov? Oh, I'm living the dream. Happy days. Happy days indeed. <laughs> I've had about four hours sleep. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get much sleep last night in the tent because uh, there was uh, people having parties. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Booze and, and drinking and shouting. Probably got about two hours sleep myself, you know, <coughs> honestly. Um, but it's, it's all good to be honest, I feel really fresh this morning, we had a, like, like I showed you earlier, we had, a, we had a coffee this morning and a bit of porridge, overnight oats, so we're all, we're all geared up, carved up, and ready to go. So uh, our staff sergeant has basically told us that um, there are no breaks on this hike. So 24 miles, 12 hours without any stoppages. You know, you have to eat on the go. There's a couple of uh, checkpoints where we can fill up our water bottles and go to the toilet. But apart from that, um, it's just on, 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 walk, walk, walk. So it's... Uh, but at the moment we're all right. I mean the pace isn't too fast, even though he's pushing us because we need to keep moving in order to do it in the time limit. It works out two miles an hour, so it's uh, it should be doable, but there are three mountains to climb and that you know that obviously slows the pace big time. And uh, people at the back, there's a couple of people that have had to pull out already because they couldn't keep up with the pace. So it's quite a brutal um, knockout sort of walk. You know, if you can't keep the pace, there's nowhere for you to go. You just have to, the, a guide just takes you back because you can't let the whole group wait for you. So I can wear the last group as well, aren't we? So there's no yeah. pulling back. Yeah, with the last group, so you can't fall back onto another group behind you. So it's a, a case of walk fast or go home. And we're walking fast cars because we ain't going home. How we was? No problem. Well, I am from a bit of a blister on the back of my heel. <coughs> I've got the blister passes, Gov. Just stopped off at these toilets in Horton for a quick break. And now we're going to head up to the second mountain now, which I think is Wernside? Penny Gent. Penny Gent. <laughs> Thanks to the staff behind me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thanks, up as we've refreshed our water bottles. The staff are pretty good. They had a. Uh, Nice jugs of water, so we've chopped some of our water bottles. Uh, a couple of people have dropped out already, due to whatever reason, so the group's narrowed down a bit. So we're about probably a third of the way in now, so. so. I work it out, we've done about eight miles so far. How are you feeling, Gov? I'm living the dream, boss. I'm under upwards. Happy Gent? Yeah, pretty Gent. Um, starting to get very hot now, it's 
almost 10 o'clock in the morning, but the sun's beaming higher. It's starting to get very hot, and uh, people are trying to, well, a couple of people have already pulled out, and there's another person who's doing this for charity who's slowing down a little bit. I tried offering to take her bag for her, but the staff wouldn't let me. He says everyone's got to carry their own bag, maybe for theft reasons or something, I don't know. But, I thought if I took her bag, it would slow me down, it's speed her up. In case she needs water and wait till the ferry's coming. Yeah. Oh, God knows what. I'll she's done it. really, really well so far. Um, she's doing it for, for charity, for autism. So, really want her to get through this, this trek. Because she's doing it for a great cause. So, let's hope. Let's hope she makes it round. But at the moment, I feel pretty comfortable. Are you, how are you feeling, Guff? Very moist and wet. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been in the gym for, for five days a week for the past five weeks and I think that's definitely helped me on this hike, I think. Uh, but yeah, we'll see because we haven't even got up the second mountain yet. And, that's and it's, it's right starting there. to get a bit, yeah, starting to get a bit tough. And the other guy's on as well, I think. We're about halfway up the, the second mountain still and we've had another <laughs> casualty being taken down and unfortunately we believe it's the, the person doing, raising the money for charity. It's a shame because I wanted to get her up here and take her bag, but <coughs> wasn't allowed. And now she's had to pull out, which is a shame because you know, the money she's raised, you'd, you'd want her to do it. It just shows it is getting tough. But, you know, on the plus side, if it is her, then she's, she's done well to do one and a half mountains. You know, she can take that and go home with that. Raise, she's raised some money, which is a good thing. It's a fair play to her. We've just been, uh, had, had a bit of a lifesaver here. Alan from the Greenpeace, uh, he's been giving away uh, orange juices and cakes. Top man. So, green, Greenpeace. So we'll make a donation. We've chopped up our, bought our bottles with orange juice. So, thanks very much, Alan. Right, you've done your, you've done your good, yeah. did good deed for the day. Great, fantastic. Take Thank care, you, mate. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. Saved the day there. Cakes, biscuits, and orange juice. <laughs> I've got a YouTube channel, you see, so I'll have you. I can get you in it if you want, if not, I won't. <laughs> yeah, but we, we, we have to ask for mission, you know, for data protection. <laughs> Coming up to 11 o'clock now, and uh, we've just done the second mountain of the day. So we're just descending that. And then the next, the next one, I don't know if you can see right over there in that distance there. That's the first one we did. And now we're going over to that one over here somewhere. We've got quite a bit of a walk to the next one. And then that's the highest mountain of the three of them as well. So um, anyway, the group's doing all right. They're coming down up there. There's a couple of injuries that people have picked up now. They're starting to limp. So it's uh, starting to battered. take its toll a little bit. We've had to share some water out with a few members of the team who come a little bit unprepared, shall we say. Yeah, you know on, a, what? on a 24 mile hike in the sun in the Yorkshire Dales, it's a little bit silly to come with no water, but there we go. Good job I had a spare bottle. Done my good part for the group. <laughs> and, uh, but overall we're doing all right. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty fresh and fit. How are you feeling, Gov? I'm alright, boss. I'm a bit sweaty, and that's about it. Our staff, Alan, down there in the distance in red. Don't know if you can see him. He's leading the team. Very good job Alan's done as well. Fair play to him. Happy Told days. him about the YouTube channel, so I'm sure he'll be watching this now. Hi, Alan. You're just over there, mate. <laughs> in red. No, but the, um, actually, it's been a very well organised event because they've, they've got different packs of groups that have, you know, gone off, and they they've got walkie talkies that communicate with each other back and forth. And like, like I said, this one woman who was uh, caught a bit ill, and so uh, they did very good to, to sort of help her. And and they, uh, if there's ever a dodgy bit on the mountain, like there was up on Penny Ghent, there was a bit of a scramble. You know, the guides are here to help us and tell us where to put our feet, which is also very good. So anyone watching the channel who really wants a good challenge, as long as you're fit enough and you come prepared, 
because you can't hold anybody back because you just get kicked off. So it is quite brutal. You've got to have a certain amount of fitness. But if you want a well-guided tour, and you don't quite trust yourself to walk on your own on the mountains, then this is ideal, very ideal. So definitely give it a go. A couple of people are doing it for charity. And uh, some just for fun. Some just for fun, just because we're mad. Well, it's weekend, wasn't it? True, so Oh, the other thing is, Mark's just been telling everybody his age. What, how old are you again, Mark? Uh, 51, boss. Oh, 52 this year? Yeah, November 19th. Yeah, he's let everyone know that as well. <laughs> but we do have someone who's 60. So someone is outdoing Mark. <laughs> and I think our, our captain, the staff, I think he said he was 51. He's 51 next month. I'm not doing bad for 51. So, he's waiting for us now, look. <laughs> and there's one bloke at the back of the pack, so if you're walking too slow and he's, if he's behind you, you know you've got to get a move on. It's a kick on the ass. <laughs> so we're, we're heading to the third mountain now. It's a bit of a trek, it's about six or seven miles to the next one, so we're walking along this path. There's the team, and I don't know if you can see, but <laughs> the team are starting to reduce dramatically. So there was a bit of an emergency a second ago. Our staff had to run back to find someone because we only had 10 members, not 11. We, I think we started with 15. And uh, the, bl the bloke was moaning about a, uh, a leg problem that he had, but it seems to be a bit more serious than that. And he's uh, just collapsed, I think. So the staffs had to go back to find him and rescue him and take him back home. So another staff from the group in front has had to come back to take us and leave some water in a stash for the uh, for the other staff to go and get the uh, the rescue bloke. So, cut long story short, there's now only ten of us, and we started off with fifteen. So that's how difficult this this hike can be if you're unprepared. So you definitely need your fitness levels. You definitely need to come prepared if you're going to do something like this because it can be serious especially it's hot it's a hot day it's a long 24 mile you know three mountains it's tough very tough so there's a few people just starting to get a bit tired after 19 miles but we've finally made it to the second checkpoint where we're just all stopping off for a coffee we've met up with another group who were in front of us and we're having a nice bit of swiss roll and a cup of coffee and then we're going to head up the third mountain this is going to be the challenging part so the, the event has organised the teas and coffees, which is great for them. So, onwards and upwards now. No, it's, uh, so seeing this through now, we've done about 19 and a half, 20 miles. So it's pushing on, getting this last mountain done. 20.73 so far. Not bad for pushing 50, Gov. Pushing 52 nearly, Governor. In just under, I think it's in just over 70 now. So we're three quarters of the way up the last mountain. You can see we've, we've gone from that mountain there, all the way across this countryside, up to that mountain there, and come all the way back down this countryside, up to this mountain. We've covered some distance, about 23 miles. Just beneath the summit now of the highest mountain in the Yorkshire Dales, Wernside. The final push. What a challenge this has been. I'm in one course for doing it in under 12 hours, which was the challenge. the rest of the group up the one last final slog. There's the governor. Governor! Got our two friends that we've met there. Here comes the staff and the rest of the group. Oh. This point in Lancashire and then beyond in a line is the highest point in England, Scarfell Pike. 
That's right over there in the distance, is it? Yeah, so you've got Gregarath here, which is yeah. highest point in Lancashire. Yeah. And then in the distance, you've got the highest point in uh, oh, England. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. There we go. And now we're at the highest yeah, point in uh, Yorkshire. Yorkshire Dales. Yeah. In Yorkshire. Yeah. You're going down now. Who's brought the... Uh, so right at the foot of one side, we've just come down and an ice cream van is right at the end point. We've got another mile to go to get back to the end. We're doing, we've got an hour and a half to get there. It'll probably only take us an hour, half an hour. So we've, we've done it an hour less than, than, the, than the, the, the limit. A nice ice cream and flake. I think the whole group is getting one as well. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. So we've finally made it back. 10 hours, 48 minutes, 24 miles, three peaks, highest in Yorkshire. Well done, Governor. That was a challenge. A group there. We've got our certificates. <laughs> it was uh, quite emotional at the end, actually. A lot of people cheering everyone home on that final bit. Oh, that was brutal. There we go. Thank you very much to the Three Peaks Challenge UK event and all the staff for helping us along and guiding us along the route. Brilliant event. Get yourself signed up. Give yourself a challenge. Happy days. Happy <laughs>
yeah, it wouldn't have been the same without you. Great having a meal afterwards with Callum and, uh, and Sarah and um, Colo and I can't remember his friend's name now. Tolu, <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, top, top evening, great having dinner with you all. And thanks to, to all the staff as well who arranged it all. There was uh, Sean who took over when Alan, Alan had to go down and take some geezer to an emergency. Medic. Medic! <laughs> so, yeah, but you know, great, great day trekking. Cheers, guys. Hope to, uh, I think you're going to keep in touch on, on Facebook. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you, keep you updated with, with more treks to come. Roll on the South Downs. Happy days. Happy trekking. Happy Yorkshire. Happy Yorkshire. Night, all. Happy days. <sighs>